welcome back to another episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This is episode 34. And, uh, we're still searching for Allison. Just hack this. 15%, fortify, zero, so let's go that way. Well, this is pretty easy so far. Keep fortifying everything. Yeah, we got this. So you want to disable that? Damn it! Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Didn't want a repeat of last time. <laughs> uh, let's go into the vents because we always go into vents whenever we get the chance. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Let's just go up the stairs like normal people this time. Looks like she's in there. Before we go in there, let's just search around, see if there's any more loot or anything like that we can pick up. Uh, yeah, some man in that. I don't want to waste up on that. So electrified four. What's that? Oh, keypad. Can't use that. Nothing in there. Check inside here. Take that. You know what? Let's hack this thing. Right, that's 30. That's 30. Alright, let's just use a stealth on this one. And 45. Let's use a stealth again. Another 45. Yeah. Let's go this way. There we go. 45. 30. Alright, let's just go fast now. Take everything fortified. There we go. Oops. Yeah, get that one. Trace program initiated. And take that. I didn't think we, uh,. Granted. I don't think we needed to use all those stealths, but whatever, we can always get more stealths if we need it. Pick up that. Uh, looks like there's something up there. Damn it. Alright, there we go. Okay, take all of that. Alright. Don't want to fall down there. So, jump. Oops, I didn't mean to jump on the barrel blade. Okay. Let's take all of that. And take that hacking software. And let's get out of here. Let's go through this door. First, we gotta hack it. Alright, zero. So let's take it. Fifteen. Uh, let's see, zero. Fifteen. Alright, let's take the other zero. And that's 30. Okay. Yeah, start taking the 15s. Alright. Fortify everything. Trace program there we go. Take that. Take that. Take that. Access granted. There we go. I was not to be distant. Oh my. Come in. Come in and let me see you. How did you get in here? And how did you know to come now? Tonight of all nights, when we are finally ready to answer the call of the Machine God's infinite wisdom. Surely, your arrival here is not coincidental. I'm looking for Alison Stanek. Of course you are. And you have found her. Wait. What? You didn't say that. 
tell me you did not just say that. Speaking of Allison, it better not fucking turn out that she's actually a member of this cult. Otherwise, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Looking for Allison Stanek. Of course you are. And you have found her. And you have found her. And you have found her. What the fuck? On the eve of her greatest achievement. But do you seek counsel? Assistance in your prayers or meditations? Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity. If there is any way your High Priestess can be of assistance to you, I am more than happy to provide. I want to ask you about the bombs you built for the attack on Ruzika Station. Is that all? My augmented brother Victor is a brave man and a great leader. When he asked me to build some of my little ones for him, I was proud to accept. I know Victor. If he's behind these attacks, I'd like to have a talk with him. After our flesh flood oppressors sent one of their dogs to murder Talos Racker, Victor moved his base of operations to a research center in the Swiss Alps. Garm, I believe it is called. Garm? Okay, I got it. That is why you came here? You enter this sacred place to solicit my help against Victor's holy revolution? Freak! Blasphemer! And I believed you were one of us. I am. I just have a more inclusive idea of who us is. <laughs> then you have become their willing slave. But not I. I have felt the boots of the police as they spat on me and mocked me for who I was. I could have lain down, like you, but I persevered, and the machine god has given me my reward. I emerged from the crucible, enlightened. Enlightenment is a state of elevated perception and wisdom. You seem to be a little short on both. If you were wrong about why I'm here, I bet you're wrong about a lot of other things, too. I admit, when you first arrived, I was in the middle of something, and that distracted me from the true reason for your visit. But who could have anticipated one such as you would side with our enemies? They steal from us, they rape and murder us. They are animals, and animals go extinct while technology perseveres. Victor is killing everyone. Not just the abusers, but innocent people. People like your father, who's never been anything but supportive and forgiving. Father, such a sweet man. I can only hope Victor's attacks will continue to spare him. Continue? You mean there's gonna be more of them? Well, you don't think I built only three of my little ones for him, do you? I gave him enough to destroy the entire city. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to what I was doing before you came. Hey, we're not done here. Allison? Oh, shit. It is time, Chief. It's time now. The body is the prison. Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. Allison, stop! I know what you're doing. I've seen this kind of tech before. It ended badly. You are concerned with our lives. You do not need to worry, brother. Only this physical body will die. Our minds will depart our corporeal shells and merge with the infinite consciousness of the machine god. This is the Ascension. I would invite you to come with us, but there is no more room. I'm more interested in preventing another attack. What's Victor's next target? I do not know, and it does not matter. I am on the threshold of a new existence. When I become one with the Machine God, the artificial burdens of this physical plane 
will no longer bother me. Of course they will. Your mind's made up of thoughts and memories. If that's the part of you moving on, you'll be taking all your rage and pain along with you. Good God. I... I had not thought of that. It, it seemed to me that this was my only chance. The world is made up of nothing but agony and suffering. Or the futile struggle to avoid them. Moments of happiness are quickly shattered by this reality. The Ascension is our only hope of deliverance. Not the only one. You've seen the worst that life has to offer. But you're still trying to make things better. And in spite of it all, you believe that it's possible. Everything you need is right here in this room. You are your best hope for deliverance. Brother, you... Your faith in me. Your beautiful trust. I am overcome. It cannot be coincidence that you have made yourself known to me on this most holy of occasions. You are a sign from the Machine God that I am to remain here a little while longer. I am not yet ready to ascend. I will spread wisdom to the rest of the world. My job in this world is to stop people like Victor, and I need your help to do that. Of course, my dear Prophet. I am honored to assist you. Please, wait here. Take this. You can use it to defuse my little ones. It felt good for a change. To build something that saves lives instead of taking them. Agent Jensen? Over here. I am under arrest. People's lives were cut short, Allison. Because of bombs you made. None of my children will suffer for what I did. You have my word. When you confront Victor, be merciful. Remember, he is your brother. Right. Smiley, Stanek and her escorts are on the way back in now. I need to talk to Miller. He back yet? No, but just a sec. I'll get him on the line. Jensen, you and Fletcher find something? It's bigger than we thought. Where can I meet you? At Chicane's place. We're flying there now. Miller out. Well, that was something, I guess. <laughs> Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? On Vaclav's honor. Just get to the lab, and you'll see. Okay. Sack this. Yeah. 15. 15. We gotta get over there. Okay. 15. 15, yeah. Oh, this one's pretty easy. And there we go. Access granted. Alright, check out the mail. So that's from her dad. Uh huh. Also, she knows that guy as well. Oh, yeah, sorry, of course she does. That's who we're looking for. Uh, you guys can pause if you want to read that. Yeah. Okay. One, 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 one. Okay. And there you go. Anything else? Breach software, we can pick that up, check the cabinets, nothing. Hmm. Drawer. Oh, inventory's full. Uh yeah, let's see, we can drop something. Alright. Let's see. Oh, it's just one space left. Uh what can we drop? This? Yeah. 
This doesn't make as much money anyways. We will take that. Anything else? We take that. What has happened? What has happened is your ass is getting arrested. Maybe now you guys are actually bathed properly. Alright. You guys can uh, pause the video if you want to read that. Pick up some of that. Let's see if I use anything else. Check there. Nah. Okay. <sighs> I still. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe I should have gone to the bank. I was thinking if I had chosen the bank option, would Allison still be alive? Or would the story have like, made her die somehow what would have happened to like all those other people too hmm. I don't know something to ponder I guess domestic dispute all right oh what's this okay let's take that let's take that anything else that I miss for some of us here yeah I think that said everything why do you interfere because I wanna all right let's go Oh, your dad's here. Let's talk to him. I saw your goons again. Why did they take her? She is the victim here. Mr. Stanek, she confessed to the crime. She made the bombs. Hundreds of people were killed. And now she's accepting the consequences of her actions. But they manipulated her. Corrupted her. No, they didn't. But... I'm sorry. Could have been much worse. You're right. I know. You did what you could. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go see that Caldor guy. See if he can upgrade our Augs. Oops. Okay. Let's go down the sewers. Huh, that body's still there. Maybe I should tell Color. Tell him that there's a dead body right outside his secret hideout. Tell him to get rid of it before it starts smelling. Oh, okay, crafting parts. Is that it? Was that something that I missed or are like new parts popping up that we can collect? Because there's that. Anything else? Shit. Did you hear? Talos Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me, I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. You got a calibrator for me or what? You really think Rucker was the problem? That his death is somehow gonna make things better for Augs? I don't think he was the solution. We need a new leader. Someone a little less beardy, make fancy diploma. Someone who's gonna fight, you know? Stand up to some of these bullshit laws. You hear about the Human Restoration Act? Yeah. If the restoration vote passes, I don't know that it's gonna matter very much who the leader is. It's gonna be a government-mandated horror show is what it's gonna be. Men in white coats pulling out augmentations like they are teeth. <sighs> Anyway, speaking of medical horrors, you ready for me to fix you or what? This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now it's totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? 
I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? All right. Please tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. All right, let's see what that did. Okay, all right. Oops, there we go. All right, so yeah, I guess it just made everything stable. Yeah, that's what you said. I don't know if it was worth it because it's not going to use any of these. Eh, I guess it was good, I guess. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Later!